One of the common questions I get is when can you transfer these little baby chicks from the brooder to the coop safely? And this little baby right here is two weeks old. And then I have some out in the coop that are seven weeks old. And I also have some bigger chickens that are two years old. So depending on your situation and the age of all your chicks and chickens, the answer is gonna vary. But I'm gonna show you how I have it set up and how you could do the same thing for your chicks. So in the first few weeks at least, you wanna have your chicks in some kind of chick brooder. Um, right here I have a rabbit hutch and I have the heat lamp and the water and the feeders. And they should be in there at least for a month or so. Maybe not quite that long, but long enough that they grow in all of their feathers and they can be taken away from the heat lamp. So after your chicks have their feathers and you can take them away from the heat lamp, they're safe to move into the coop. But if you have older chickens in the coop, it's likely not a smart idea to move them in there too soon. Um, in the past, I've had to wait as long as three months to transfer my baby chicks in with the older flock because the older flock just continued picking on the chicks and they'd peck at them and it was just a really bad deal. So if you have older chickens, you might have to wait longer to transfer the babies from the brooder into the big coop, but likely your chicks are gonna outgrow the brooder. So you have to do something in between. And so I'm gonna show you what I've set up. And right now the chicks that I'm gonna show you are seven weeks old. And I actually only have three older chickens right now. And so they're safe to combine because there's more baby chicks than older chickens. And the few older chickens I have right now are actually pretty sweet. And they seem to get along already well with these seven week old chicks. But for the last few weeks, I've had them in the coop, but separated. And so this is the setup I'm gonna show you, which hopefully you could easily imitate in your coop as well. And it's a great in-between stage from the brooder before they go actually out into the real coop. Okay, so what I've done that's worked out really well is I've sectioned off a portion of my chicken coop that is inside the coop, but that keeps these chicks safe from the older chickens outside. All I did was set up a piece of horse paneling. You could also set up a piece of plywood or chicken coop wire, anything to just section off a portion of your coop. And it gave them a much bigger space than inside the brooder. And it allowed these chicks to just kind of grow up a bit more before I transition them out into the coop in the yard with the older chickens. So if you have chicks right now and you're wondering when they can finally go out in the big coop, I hope this was helpful in showing you what you could do in between because they're usually ready to get out of the brooder but not quite ready for the coop. And so setting up a sectioned off portion like this is really helpful. And then once you do finally let the chicks into the big coop with the older chickens, if you have them, be sure to keep a close eye on them. You don't want the big chickens to pick on the little ones. Um, as soon as they peck at them and they draw any blood, it just immediately attracts all the other chickens to them and they can um, hurt that chick really quickly. So make sure you keep a close eye on them. If they seem to be getting along great, you don't have anything to worry about. They're usually um, going to start um, messing with them and pecking at them and being mean in the first few minutes, but I check on them at least a few times a day. And then after that, if they all seem to be getting along good, you're good to go. If you happen to have just one older chicken that's the mean one, then just separate her and leave everyone else together. But if it happens to be all the older chickens picking on the new ones, then you might have to separate them again until they're a little bit bigger. And it all just kind of depends. Um, there's been some years, like I said, where I had to wait up to three months before I could combine them. Right now, these chicks are only seven weeks old and I'm already able to combine them with the older chickens. So just kind of test and see and um, join me in this next video if you want to see how to successfully set up your chick brooder in case you're at that stage and you haven't even got to the point where they need to go out into the coop yet. So I will see you there.